Hey, what's up guys? Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us and today we're going to take a look at iTunes 10. It's released a few days ago. It's the next version of iTunes. The normal stuff. Uh, actually, it's been about a week now, I think. A week and a day or so. Um, didn't think it was that big of a deal, but uh, lots of videos out there. A couple people asked me, why didn't you make one? Uh, here it is. So we have Apple's page open. If I'm looking over here, my other monitor's over here, so that's why. Um, What's new in iTunes? Well, we've got iTunes Ping. Ping is this feature. Might as well go ahead and open iTunes. You can see down there in my dock that there's a new icon. I happen to have my iPhone 4 plugged in. We'll bounce on over to that in a second. We can see what that looks like. Um, let's go to the iTunes store first. We'll take a look at that Ping. Anyways, Ping is kind of a feature designed to um, bring people together with artists, follow different artists, get concert dates, um, maybe notifications when they release new new stuff. Anyways, uh, it's over here, the iTunes store ping top right. You can make an account. I think I made one, I did make one. I don't really know how to find me. Type in Ryan Knows Tech, you'll probably find me that way, or my name, Ryan Schultz. Um, I, you can tell, I don't really care. I'm not in, I'm into music, but I'm not into the, I don't have time for that. So anyways, like you can turn on ping, like that. Type in your, Password here. I don't think that's right. Maybe it is. Uh, yes, it is right. So <laughs> this is uh, new for me, new for you. Here it is. Um, I'm following Charles Trippy and Ali Speed. And I guess uh, that's pretty much about it right now. So you get some updates of what they're doing. Find people. Uh, let's do a search by name for me. And... Uh, See, there I am. You can tell by my my uh, thing. and it's, I'm in Hudson, Ohio with three followers. That's exciting. So anyways, that's ping. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Kind of cool, I guess, if, uh, if that's your thing. Um, back over here, we'll take a look. You can do TV show rentals. All right, uh, so you can rent TV shows, save you some money. You're only going to watch it once. Anyways, AirPlay, you can play music wirelessly through your house. That's always good. Uh, Apple TV, that's another gadget that was released. I guess you can do more of that from uh, iTunes. Improved syncing, so that's good. Feed your iPod, iPad, or iPhone. Um, a little quicker, maybe. Always good to see improvements with syncing, right? Um, the biggest thing that I have noticed about iTunes 10 is, unfortunately, negative. And that would be the fact that, well, there's two things. One, they removed the color. You know, just superficial. It has no effect on performance at all. But why would they remove the color from library and playlists? It just doesn't look good anymore. I don't know. I, I really don't like I really don't like that. They said they made it more elegant. Um, you know, I just feel I look at it and it's, it's all black and white now. I really don't like that. The other thing I hate is the stoplight they made out of the clothes, at least on Mac. Uh, that close, minimize, and expand. Why did they put them vertically? If, is it going to be that in, in um, Mac OS 10.7? I really hope not, because I don't like that at all. Uh, aside from that, performance, okay, it might be a little faster. It's not bad. It was never bad before, but then again, I have 8 gigs of RAM and a 2.6 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. So, um, performance is uh, possibly better. Reliability, I never had problems before, but Again, if, uh, if you can increase that stuff, that's, that's always good to make a better product out of it. You can also see that they changed the little graphical display here um, for your capacity meter. Big deal. It looks, I kind of liked it before, but this is functional. I have 11.8 gig free. I had like 4 gig before. So either something's missing or iOS 4.1 is smaller. I don't know. Anyways, iTunes 10. If you... If you have iTunes 9 and it's asking you to upgrade, you might as well do it just to uh, get better security, better syncing, keep it up to date for compatibility and reliability and updates and everything like that. Um, the only things I really don't like, again, are the colors and the little stop stoplight they made at the top, but that's purely cosmetic. No function involved in that. So there it is. iTunes 10 worth upgrading. Yeah, might as well do it. Nothing to call home about. But uh, that's it. That's that's Apple's new software. So ping is kind of cool. Uh, if you want to follow me, go ahead. I don't really see any benefit, though. Probably won't use it much. If I start, I'll let you know. That's it. Check out our website, www.techinform.us. We're looking for some more posts there. I've written a few, I know. My Twitter, twitter.com slash Schultz. And then be sure to catch us live Tuesday nights between 7 and 9 p.m. 
Eastern Time on Ustream.tv slash Tech Inform Us. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Friday's yes. video. Bye.